breaking news. Good afternoon. Terrence Lee here with that breaking news. A Browns player is facing federal charges. Linebacker Michael Kendricks has been indicted for insider trading. Sports reporter Lauren Brill is in the newsroom with the latest for us. Hey, Lauren. Hey, Terrence. This time, it's nothing that happened on the field, but something that happened with a player's money. Linebacker Michael Kendricks is facing federal charges for insider trading. The Browns are set to play the Lions. It'll be interesting to see how this affects the final roster decision. I couldn't believe the thing with Mike. That's unfortunate. The thing with Mike, I was like, oh. Man. That's deep. That's deep. So, trade? What's up? What was the trading? I don't know. When individuals engage in insider trading, it undermines the public's faith in our markets and harms ordinary investors who do play by the rules. The linebacker releasing a statement apologizing and admitting guilt, saying in part, I would like to apologize. I don't know all the details, obviously, but we're working through them. Is he going to jail? Come on in, let's go, let's go. Sooner you get in, the faster you get out. I just wanna make sure I uh, clear one thing up uh, with Michael Kendricks. We will release Michael Kendricks. As I've said to all you guys in here, there's decisions and there's consequences. And sometimes consequences are, are life altering. Michael Kendricks isn't the only player that won't have a place in the Browns locker room. By the end of this week, there'll be three dozen more cuts. Which means for players clinging to the edge of the roster, this is it. Five weeks of training camp distilled into seven days. Focus. It's getting down to the wire. Journeyman tight end Devin Kajus knows the drill. He's been cut before. But the former college wide receiver can catch, run, and his blocking is improving by the day. That away, Kajus. Good job, well done. I have no idea what to like expect here. I just don't know how it's gonna pan out at all. You know, and nobody else does either. I just hope I'm not pissing off a lot of people still. Like I feel like last week was a big jump for me. Huge. And, and this week's practice was outstanding. So remember this. People always remember what they see last. So Thursday night will be a great opportunity for you. And there's, there, there's you, you have generated a lot of great feelings in this organization about you because of the way you work and the way you perform. Are you where you want to be, where you need to be, to be as good as you can be? No, but, you, but it's, it's, a, it's a progress, right? And, and the thing you have done, is, it's like the stock market. It goes, you know, it's like this, but you keep going. You keep going and just keep doing what you're doing. And don't don't bother about anything else. You be you. Being you is good enough. Thanks, so. Okay. Appreciate it. Forty-four. Yo, this B is following me, bro. There's been a buzz around Carl Nassib all camp for both his financial wizardry and flashes of dominance. Lock it back! But he's still fighting for a roster spot. Excellent, Carl! Both tight ends could not block him. When both those tight ends tried to block you, on that one, when you were pass rushing and both yeah. tight oh, you just drove them right on back. That was great. <laughs> I like it! I got him right when he was unbalanced and got right underneath him. <laughs> Did that so, didn't I? That was lit. Straight monster move. Yeah. Like Nassib, number 44, Nate Orchard, is also a defensive end on the bubble. There you go, Nate. Good job, Nate. He's entering his fourth year with Cleveland. Oh! But there's no job guarantee. It was on one. <sighs> Gotta wake up, man. Nate, he knows where to go, he knows what to do, but he just playing tenor to me. He'll try to find a way to get in consistency with him. He's here, then he's down here. 
the Lions and the Browns in the final preseason game in downtown Detroit. They get their stripes after this game. If you make the team, you'll have stripes on your helmet next week when the Browns play the Pittsburgh Steelers. We get ready to play now. Oh, Kyle, hold on a second. On this stone. Now look at stone. Oh, you got rose quartz? Yep. Nice. Yeah, that's my stone. My stone. Treat the ball like one of your rocks. That's a great point. Pretend they're trying to take a crystal away. Yo, if you threw what? that? Why haven't we told you that a long time ago? Yeah. That's a great question. Block like you're blocking for one of your rocks. Broken Roback went to of Eastern Michigan. Roby! Go, Roby! He'll go in the second half. My Familia. It all comes down to tonight. One last chance for the bubble guys. I need to fill our energy a little bit more. We're the Cleveland Browns. Go take this field and let's go whoop their ass. That's what we're here for. Let's get it done. jobs that will be won and lost in preseason game number four. Youngsters fighting to make the team. Hey. Hey, are you ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? At quarterback number six, Baker Mayfield. Hey, give me some time right here and we might score on the first play. Set. And here's Mayfield on first down, bootleg out to the left, looking, fires down the middle of the field, and wide open, it's Kajus. Yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go, come on. shoved into the Browns' side. Ah, yes, yes. <laughs> it's a 42-yard pass play to Devin Kajus. That boy can run, man. That boy can run, man. Hey, I don't want to use a flipper. Kajus doing all he can fun. there to get open. and Good way to get things started. And we talked about Devin Kajus in the open, how he's one of those bubble guys. He has to have a big game here tonight to make the team. Come on, man. Feed that boy Juice, man. So big third down for Baker Mayfield. Third and five. Wants to throw. Has his man again. It's Kajus. <laughs> all right. There you go. That's it, baby. He was like. Yeah. There you go, Juice. Hey. You told him something. Yeah, I see. Hey, y'all told him something. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. And the Browns go are going to go for it go on fourth down and a yard. Baker takes and gives, and it's chop left side goes in. And touchdown. Woo! Woo! There we go. There we go. All right. There we go, Jeff. There we go, baby. Got Baker Mayfield. He doesn't mean John Dorsey. He also. Does a mean opening drive to start his NFL Wait career up. as a starter. Wait down, Wait down my foot! Good job, Tom. Good job, boys. Good job. Dude! Great job, Phil. That's the way to go. Keep it going. Keep it going. Hey, uh, hey Kajus! Way to go, man. Way to get us started. Good job. Good job. Yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah, all all game, son. They can't stop you out there, son. No, it's nice. Come on. The first two passes, uh, Devin did really well. Yeah, he's gonna make it. I know he's gonna make it. He's gotta make it. Come on, Juice, you're up. Pray to the rock gods, you're up. Let's go. Come on. Eyes inside. Eyes inside. Kajus may be opening some eyes tonight but his tomorrows depend on 60 good minutes of football. He can't take a single play off. Spat both my ankles, please. Oh. I rolled both of them. Oh. Oh. 
Yep, they just crunched. Dude, I rolled both of them in the same play, bro. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely thugging out. I was just like, damn, thank you for coming in for me on that. <laughs> I can't quit now, bro. Jaw's on the line. <laughs> no more baby steps for Carl Nassib. If the defensive end wants to make the final roster, he needs to step up and throw down. Terrific job that time by Carl Nassib, who's another guy that we're watching very closely to see if he sticks around. Let's go, baby, all day, all day. You talked about these defensive ends, and I think really the question's gonna be for John Dorsey, do I keep five of them or do I keep four? <laughs> Nassib and Nate Orchard are playing for the same roster spot. Something's gotta give. Well, Nate Orchard. They talk about the battle between him and Carl Nassib. Well, you know, he's kind of a tweener. He's got that body it's in between a linebacker and a, a defensive end. But he's got the big motor. Uh, so does Nassib. Zach Center, the running back for the Lions, wrapped up by Nate Orchard and a group of friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa. We having fun? They ain't gonna get in. Let go! Castle back to pass, getting a blitz, getting a rush, and he got knocked down to the turf as Nate Orchard shoved him down. Nate Orchard is fighting for his livelihood, and he's playing like it. Come on. Good energy, baby. Good energy. Let's get a turnover. Turnover. One from the Browns 30 yard line. Nate <laughs> Orchard picked it off, and he's at the 50, he's at the 40, he's at the 30. Nate Orchard is gone. Five and in, touchdown. What a play by Nate Orchard. <laughs> Orchard just did right there. <laughs> I think so. I don't know what much more you can do to make this football team. Take that back for me. Yeah. Hey. Nice job, baby. Woo. You got wheel, Woo. boy. Do I? <laughs> Damn. How far? I need oxygen. Hey, there we go, Dave. Hey. Did I look like Josh Gordon out there? All right. Hey, Nate. It's in the cookies. It's in the cookies, I'm telling you. It got whey protein, flax seeds, chia seeds. Thanks, bro. Two weeks ago, Orchard's wife made cookies for the team. Tonight, he may have made the team with a sweet play of his own. I seen people catching up to me on the screen. I'm like, nah. I can just see the music playing. Hard work in Nate Orchard. Uh, the play of the preseason, yep. incredible play. Good for Nate Orchard, 64 yards for the touchdown. 
You're talking about plays that will help make the team. That's wow. going to be one of them. I know some little babies that were real happy when they oh, said yeah. daddy ran into Oh, yeah. Dance. Oh, I'm sure. Thanks, Thanks, Thank you. Buddy, you ready to go in there? Yep. Oh, yeah. Brogan Roback will start the second half at quarterback for the Browns. Let's get some touchdowns. Right? Let's run this, let's run this thing up. Why not? Why not? All right, baby. Come on. The kid from Toledo, Ohio, getting a chance to quarterback the Browns. It's not just a love story, it's a throwback to old fashioned dreams. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, God, Lord. Double tight end as Kajus is back into the game. He's got a Devin, 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 nice him. He's on the all right. There we go. Come on. My God. Shotgun snap. Back is Roback, steps, throws for Kajus, and he missed it. A little too much hot sauce on that one. Yes. My fault, my fault, my fault. Relax. It's probably all worked out. Just relax. Have fun. Overthinking it. My time! Roback back to pass. Roback up in the pocket. Now he spins. Now he looks. Now he's going long. Jumps in the air at the 13-yard line, incomplete. Just a little late on a couple of these yeah. throws. And that's what you normally get from a rookie. All right, come on. I let that go. Come on. I know. Yeah, I should have thrown this. Damn. I need to hit those. All right, head up, baby. Come on. Let's see if we can get Brogan going here. He is only one for seven Why for did? 24 yards. Why did? Throwback back to pass. Throwing, looking for Jeff Janis. He's out there and caught it. And a nice throw by Robach. Keep it going, baby. Hey, hey. Yes, let's go, man. About the time I can put one on here. Yeah. Play action fake. Roback throwing, got a man open, caught at the 25-yard line as Roback laid it in there softly. Robocop, Robocop, baby. Y'all been holding him back. He's feeling himself, man. Hey, let's put this in. Get the first down, one yard. Let's go, man. Bro, I start busting ass up in this huddle. How you doing? You're doing pretty good. You're doing pretty good. I appreciate you. Is it possible that they would keep Roback on, on the practice squad? That would be four quarterbacks. You know, I think it is possible. John Dorsey's going to have some interesting decisions, and he's been watching it all up close and personal on the Brown sideline. A Roback can throw it a little bit. I mean, he's all right. I just want to touch him. I don't care about the yards. Drive him in for a touch. The secret to turning around an NFL franchise isn't just having the best players or coaches. It's the ability of the first man on the roster down to the last to recognize when a moment is there for the taking. Just what we were looking for. This is golden look. My God. Shotgun Bro. snap, throw back back, looking. Throw it! Firing towards the end zone. Appreciate it, bro. Brogan! Brogan! 
Froggy, I wouldn't shoot it in there, baby. Thank uh, you. I appreciate job. you. Good job, good job boy. Good job. Oh, he's so, he's so happy. I love it. It just took me forever to get into the groove. Like a, a bird. How do you feel? How do you feel? Thank you. Man. Great job, kid. Thank you. Felt good, man. Thank you. Um, I literally can't even express my happiness. I just want to hug him. I want to jump over the damn thing. Hey. Thank First of all, congratulations, man. Congratulations. Hell of a win. Hell of a win. Now listen to me. Listen to me. Thank you. All you guys that are here, thank you. We understand that the rooms are going to change. Okay? That's just the nature of this business. Those of you that stay, we got a lot of work to do. Those of you that go, we wish you well. If we can help you, we will. The next process is to make sure we get our team together the 53 guys that are going to be here, that's what we'll do this weekend. Hi, why are you crying? Hi. I'm so proud of you. I'm proud of you. Thank you, baby. I love you. I love you. You want to cry on? So are you happy? I'm crying. Why are you crying? Huh? Why are you crying? I'm so proud of you. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? I love you so much. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I'll call you when I get in the bus okay. or something, okay? Be careful. Let me know if you need... Uh... I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm sure? okay. You don't have to worry about me. I love you. I love you. Thank you all for coming. In the next 48 hours, the Browns will be making their final cuts. For players at the bottom of the roster, it'll be the longest two days of their lives. Brogan. Hey man, it's Elliot Wolf, the Browns. How, how are you? I'm good, man. Hey, uh, unfortunately, we're gonna need to see you over here today. Yeah. If you could swing over, yeah. come find me upstairs. There'll be some cool. guys that point you in the right direction, okay? Good. Okay. Thanks, man. I'm in. Thanks. Brogan Roback won't make the team. Undrafted free agent quarterbacks almost never do. But not making the team isn't the same thing as not making the grade. How you doing, man? Good. How are you? Hanging in? Always. Always. Did a good job. Really good job. Proud of you. Represented yourself well. Really well. So what are you up to now? We're going to find out, I guess. Right. Hopefully. I hope. Hopefully we can find something out. Mm -hmm. But I'm very, very, very grateful for oh, no. you bringing me in and bring, giving me reps. Hey, buddy, you handled, you handled it the right way, and uh, I think everybody's very impressed with you. You know, these things are never fun, but right. you need to walk out of here being proud of what you did. And throwing a big-time touchdown last night, that was huge. <laughs> Your family that. was there, wasn't they? They were. They loved that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So no, happy. You've worked hard here. I appreciate so, that. It's not the easiest situation to be in. A former Heisman Trophy winner is the first overall pick and a veteran quarterback. Mm -hmm. That's the way it works, though. But you can play in this league. I appreciate that. You just got to keep working, man. Yep. Keep working, get in the right situation, and go from there. For sure. Dreams don't die. Yep. You know, I'm gonna be coming for okay. sure, and I'm very grateful. I no. love, I love being here. So you got it. Whenever, whenever that come around, that call comes around or whatever. Okay. I'm always here. Let's see how it all works out. Man. Say hello to your family. I'm gonna do Take that. Take care of yourself, man. Thank you. Love you to death. All right. I appreciate good, you very much. You know that. Thank you very much. All right. You got it. Uh, yep. I'll see you, coach. See you, bro. Hey, bro, take care of yourself, Thank man. You, Do the good job. Thank you. I'll call you later. I'm out. No. 
Damn, brother. Uh, we out again, man. You want to be up to something? I'm buying a couple things. Love you, bro. I appreciate Love you, too, bro. You already know. They all really like me. I have nothing but good things to say, and that I can play in this league, but just numbers. They said I got better and took advantage of everything. So we'll be straight. We'll just have to end up some Thank you. Love you. Out. For sure. No. We had a really good group. You know I mean, I'm very grateful to be in that environment and those guys. Those guys are awesome. And I, I'll definitely uh, maintain those relationships. At least I would hope so. I've learned a lot in that room that probably a lot of other people haven't. I think it's going to further set me up. That's a huge, huge plus. And I think uh, just take that and run and whatever team that is, you know, then that's what it's going to be. And I'm going to give it all I can. Thank you, God. Devin. How are you? I'm doing okay, man. Hey, uh, unfortunately, we need to see you over here this morning. If you could swing on in. Sounds good. All right, man, appreciate it. No problem. Tight end Devin Kajus isn't just a grinder, he's an optimist. So getting the call to turn in his playbook is just another obstacle on his way to a destination he feels sure he'll reach. That conversation, we're gonna we're gonna let you go. Mm -hmm. um, your your progression has been awesome. From you know, you and I have the history of Green Bay, so yeah. just seeing where you started out that first day, getting thrown on the ground by Julius Peppers, <laughs> yeah. you know, in your yeah. transition from receiver to tight end to to where you're at now, it's been it's been pretty cool to see. Um, yeah. Definitely come a long way as a blocker, and probably got a little bit more to go. But, I do. So we'll, we'll take you in to see you. Thank you. Really struggle with that well. Come on in. How are you guys? The juice oh, man. What's up, buddy? How are you? How you doing, man? Very well, thank you. You doing all right? Yeah. See, well, let me spend a yeah, couple absolutely. minutes with him. I'll be right next door. Well, partner, I know this is a tough day, but you represented yourself well. Extremely well, and I want you to know that. You did some good things, you improved, and uh, I don't know how any of this other stuff's gonna all pan out, um, but let's see how it all goes, because you just never know. But I want you to know you represented yourself well, busted your tail, you can't play in the National Football League, I want you to keep working at it. Good things are gonna come, you know, and sometimes they just don't come when you want them to. Yeah. You know, this business, that's just part of it, you've been through it, so. Mm -hmm. But don't, by any chance, give up on what you're doing, you know, and keep doing what you're doing because you're doing it right and you're learning and you're growing in each opportunity. These are the tough times because you're right on that border for us, you know, and it, it's, these are tough decisions. But uh, you made it hard. That's your job. You make it hard for us to say we got to do this or do that. So you did that. And I want to make sure you know that. Thank you, Coach. Okay. Appreciate it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Um, and, of course, God's plan is... That's his plan, so you that's why I can't that. be upset. Yeah, I did everything that I could with what I was given. And mm -hmm. I don't know, I, the fact that I was on the fence, and then I'll keep growing and getting better at blocking. <laughs> Absolutely, you yeah. will. Yes. You know, God's plan is his plan, you know, and his will will be. So just know that, okay? Absolutely. All right, buddy. Thank you. Thank really you. Appreciate it. Thanks for everything, man. Absolutely. Thanks for letting us coach you. Right now, it's just wait and just let the day sink in. Just relax. Control what I can control, and who knows, may get claimed by another team. Hi, baby. Uh, 
Bones, Brody, Buster Lowe, and I just Got to be completely chill, because me getting anxious, it only stresses me out and takes away from the fact that, like, I didn't look or reflect at anything that I just did, like, to get to this point. I think I made a lot of progress, so I'm pretty proud of myself with regards to that. Assalamu alaikum. Hey, did you find out anything yet? What's going on? Man, you didn't even give me my assalamu alaikum at all. You just left me there completely. What? Wow. Oh, what's the assalamu alaikum? Man, right now, I can't even breathe. <laughs> I'm going to go outside right now. I can't even breathe. I'm waiting to find out something. But that doesn't mean you break pattern. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're <laughs> killing me. Come on, when are you going to fight? We got until what time? Now. Yeah, you got here? until now. You got until right now. You don't Wait, even need to know. Well, no, four o'clock is when they release everything, but I found out early. Okay. <laughs> no, no. So I, man, you're great. No, so I got released. However, this is how it works before your face drops into pieces. <laughs> okay, hey, you got, hey, don't worry about it. Other teams can pick me up or claim me. Put the drawer back up there real quick. You screw it in? It's, it's, it's in tight? But it's all good. It's all good. It's all tight. It's all tight. <laughs> so what do you do now, then? I'm just sitting at the bench. OK. Just right watch. Here. Yeah, I'll show you. I need some oh, oh, that's excellent. Oh, that's nice. All right. Just keep me posted. Let me know what's going on, all right? Absolutely. All right, I love you. Chaga bless. I love you. Chaga bless. Mwah. <laughs> They're gonna train him to the Bears. Oh, really? They gonna give him two number ones? Wow. I'm gonna put it right here on this one, Simo. Oh, okay, cool. Two number ones? Oh my gosh. That's a lot. I didn't say a lot. We better get him signed up for the long haul. I didn't know they had that much room. More than $24 million a year. It's quarterback money. The Oakland Raiders' trade of Khalil Mack to the Bears is the NFL news of the day and underscores just how valuable edge pass rushers are. Now the Browns have a decision about that position, too. Go with money man Carl Nassib or cookie man Nate Orchard. Swing by and come find me upstairs. We'll have a little conversation. Thanks a lot. Yeah, come on in. Hey, Mr. Good. Yeah, man. You doing all right? Yeah. So, uh, it's that day, you know? Yes, yeah, sir. We're gonna, we're gonna put you on waivers. Okay. Um, you know how that system works. I mean, you're vet. This is the first time you've been cut there. Right. Yeah. yeah, so each team has a chance to claim you for the 53 tomorrow. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you don't get claimed, um, you're a free agent, free to sign anywhere. With your versatility, I'd expect that, that a lot of different kinds of teams will be looking at you. Three, four teams play outside backer. Four, three teams play DN, mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. But, uh, you know, basically we just process you out, take you to see Coach Jackson after this. And okay. then uh, any questions? No. Good. Yeah. yeah just, it's part of business. It's part of it. Yeah, yeah, it's tough. And, you know, obviously, especially with you, you've been here, you know, for, for three years. So, mm -hmm. you know. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. Good luck. Thank you. Hey, you know, bro, these things are never easy. Yeah. I know it's not. Easy for you and your family, but uh, it's part of this business, you know. And your journey don't stop here; it just starts someplace else. 
And that's what you got to do. You know, I think you're a hell of a man, hell of a family man, hell of a player. And it's just, you know, going in a different direction. Yeah. So uh, I know it's tough, but you'll make it through. You'll manifest. Appreciate you. Everything you got. Love you to death. You know that. Appreciate it. Handle your business, man. Thank you. See you. Yeah. This is the part of the business that's tough. You know, it's, you know, again, it's part of life. But you just got to bounce back when you get knocked down like this. And, uh, you know, no matter the circumstance of where you are in your life, um, you know, you always you land on your back. You look up, you can get up. And so everything's good. You know, I've got a beautiful family that supports me. Um, a beautiful wife. As long as she keep making them cookies, I think I'll be okay. Uh, but it's good. All is well. All is well. Uh, yeah, I think I'll be okay. Rookie receiver Antonio Callaway has made the team. Earlier in camp, he had a run-in with the law. But this Sunday, he'll be running against the Pittsburgh Steelers and his friend, Antonio Brown. We only got 16 limited opportunities, so got to be a pro, baby. Yeah. Time to eat greedy. That's what I say, though. I just got a little doubt. I got a little routine. I got a little routine I be sticking with, though. Yeah, just write it down. That way you write it down. You get on, the, get on that good plan. Because you write it down, you can see it. You know it. You always got your plan in place. All you can worry about is performing your best. Man, we're expecting a lot of tutties, a lot of celebration. Yeah. You know what I mean? You got to turn up. All right, yo. Love, yo. Love. Yesterday, the Browns cut their roster down to the mandated 53. So did every other team in the league. Good players are suddenly available, and the Browns want one. So, someone has to go. Come in. Oh. What's up, Coach? What's up, Carl? How are you doing today, man? Uh, not great. Not great? Uh, no. How are you doing? Bad. I'm doing all right, man. Doing all right. Um, these are the tough times of my job. Oh, yeah. And uh, not fun. Can't be easy for you guys. No. Um, obviously, I love you to death. Yeah, Thank you, help football it. player. Thanks. Obviously, we're letting you go. Yeah. And uh, you got a bright future ahead of yourself. Thank you, sir. But I know. Yeah. You're a good man. Thank you. And uh, be missed, but uh, this is what we're doing. Yeah, so no problem. Move forward. And anything I can do to ever help you, just call on me and I will. Nope, I mean, I wish I could be here with you right. to turn, you know, when things actually turn around, but right. I wish you all the best. Thank you. You're a great guy, great coach. Thank you. And, uh, you know, you're going to do good things here, man. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah. So are you. Thanks. There's no question in my mind. Hey. All right. All right, buddy. Man. Take care of yourself. Well. All right, partner. Appreciate it. You got it. Two days after being cut by the Browns, Nassib is signed by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Outside of sleep, like, this is literally the best, like, form of recovery I know for my body. You know, just sacrificing normal human time, you know, ultimately you want to win a Super Bowl, you know, and I don't want to say that's a prediction. I know that I train to, to, to win the Super Bowl every year. So, you know, that's the goal. But obviously, you know, we got to take it one game at a time. But, you know, in result, we want to be in the Super Bowl and win the Super Bowl. The final decision of camp has been made. The team officially has a backup quarterback. Here, here. OK. Hit that door. Uh, grab a seat. Okay. Just I, just, I think it's important that I address both of you guys together first. Uh, I've made a decision to make Baker the backup quarterback. Yes. I just wanted to make sure I want you guys to hear it from me. I said all the stuff that flies out there and all that bull. I think it's important that you hear that from me, okay? 
which is a lot of responsibility for you. Doesn't change for you. Still got to be ready to play, ready to go. But that's the direction I want to travel. Okay. Okay. So I want you guys to know that. Tell us who Christian Kersey is. What is your why? and how they can be blessed and how they should have a why. So uh, first off, <clears throat> when I said the, uh, the what's your why, I challenged all my teammates to, to either post it on your, or your ceiling or uh, your nightstand. Because when you get in your tough times and you get to the point where you're like, man, I can't do it no more, I can't go no more, you look at that paper and you remind yourself, this is why I do it. This is why I wake up every morning and grind. And uh, just being here in Cleveland for, for the past five years, uh, I see how hard people work, yes, you know, and yes. uh, people spend their the hard-earned money to come see us play, and we've been losing. Mm. But uh, I always say that, uh, you know, when you hit rock bottom, it's only one way to go, and that's up. Amen. I think this year is special, uh, talent-wise, team chemistry, out of all the teams, that I've been on in, in Cleveland. Um, mm. This is by far the best. Every year I'm always saying, hey, we're gonna make it to the playoffs, we're gonna make it to yes, the playoffs, make it to yes. the playoffs. And I, I truly believe that, and uh, I think this is the year that you know, we're gonna make it happen. Sometimes who is just as important as why. The men who make the Browns 2018 season are now brothers bound to each other. How far will they go? As high and as far as they believe they can. The change has come. 59% of this team has changed. Totally changed. Because a whole bunch of guys that had to go, they love to be sitting right in those seats. And I hope you men understand that the guys that are in this room, they're in the room for one reason. You earned your stripes. These guys got an opportunity to put this stripe on their helmet and play for the Cleveland Browns. Cleveland Browns win football games. Everybody understand that? Yeah. That's why you're in here, for no other reason other than that. That's why we're here. That's what it is. <laughs>